Let's go to the crypto space now. Uh, Ladi tipped me off a bit earlier that it's been a red, not very exciting. Uh, I mean, it, we're it getting is. close to Christmas, Ladi. I don't want, I, I, I don't want people to lose their money in this market. Yeah, it's like the, the Grinch. <laughs> the Grinch is coming hard for the uh, crypto market. You see what you're wearing there? It's more red than what you're wearing. <laughs> oh my God! You see the market cap at 2.25 uh, trillion dollars is lost. That three trillion mark wow. might go below. Uh, two trillion the way it's looking we see the 24-hour volume there 24.54 percent down with bitcoin dominance inching down at 40.78 percent we see price of bitcoin this morning 48,199 dollars it did fall as low as 41,000 over the weekend it was quite a bloody weekend i'm sure traders were not happy at all uh, over the weekend let's bring in alumide uh, additional now a uh, financial market analyst hello alumide Hello, Raji. Red Monday. And Red Weekend, Red Monday, yeah. Lumide. What What is going on in this space? Uh, well, um, the usual narrative, you know, um, investors that as they did, have been a bit cautious you know, understand the fact that, you know, uh, the market is uh, tightening. I'm talking about monetary policy around the world. You know, the U.S. Fed has highlighted the fact that inflation was no longer transitionary, meaning that at some point they need to start reducing the cash flow in the system. And I think some investors had already start positioning some exits um, dramatically. And we saw record sales on Saturday, where about 400,000 crypto accounts got liquidated. Those that had exposure in the futures market because Bitcoin lost about 10,000. And Bitcoin got as low as 42,000 before recovering above 48,000 temporary. Now, we're seeing the fact that um, the bulls cannot support that uh, re uh, support level, 48,000 mark, suggesting the fact that more downside risk remains. And the dollar on Monday morning is looking fired up on all cylinders. All assets are down except uh, crude oil that is showing some record gains. I think uh, people also need to understand that the narrative is changing in the crypto market. We've seen that the crypto tax bill um, is already in law, is in place. So Americans are becoming more ca cautious to be exposed in that market. And you need to understand the exposure Americans bring to that market. So it seems that a lot of crypto investors are, having, are going to have an uneventful Christmas season because the market seems, like you said, it seems like it's going to break below the $2, uh, $2 trillion um, dollar mark. And looking at that uh, tax uh, bill now, you know, you're supposed to actually declare, you know, what you own in, in the crypto space. H how's that going to work? Exactly. Yeah. How's it going to so work? You I know, think, because we have think, privacy I, uh, I, coins, you know, yeah. how do you know what people actually own? Uh, well, that's left for the IRS to find out. I think uh, people have to file in and things like that, because usually in America, people file in their assets and things like that. But the concern is um, how they will be able to capture uh, such uh, space. Because, you see, the crypto market itself is some is in some form of not transparent because, um, you know, there's no names attached to the account wallet and things like that. So people are concerned that the enforcement might be a bit vague and things like that. But I think moving on, the Americans will find a way. But I think the real concern is how crypto regulation will come in place because also, the U.S. Treasury, I'm talking about Gina Yellen, she's also raising the alarm bell, the fact that um, crypto regulation will need to be enforced. And uh, just some days ago, uh, the U.S. SEC commissioner, Barry Kinsley, he spoke on the fact that crypto exchanges need to face uh, stiffer regulation. So the market is re reacting to so such parabolics. And we've not forgotten the fact that Omicron has disrupted the market, despite the fact that we've not seen any uh, deadly uh, outcome from the new mutant variant. All right. Uh, how long do you see the, uh, the, the the Bitcoin price holding this 40k range? To be honest, I think uh, it was announced with the Bitcoin bull because uh, except we see a shift from the dollar strength, in, or we see the fact that uh, we see depressing economic data, which seems to be unlikely. And um, except we may we hear a company like Apple or Amazon um, shifting more into crypto space. The downside seems to be stronger because the uh, the season we're going into, we see a lot of investors usually traditionally moving most of their risky assets to the safe haven currency, that's the U.S. dollar. So I think it would be safe for us to see if Bitcoin can break, uh, if Bitcoin can stay above 40, but the downside still remains very strong. And, and we've seen most uh, altcoins down about 40, 30 percent, double digits, you know, all around yeah. the market. Which uh, altcoins have... You know, stay strong in your in your observation. I, I think um, 
those that have strong exposure in the NFT ecosystem, because just like as you rightly said, when Bitcoin uh, catches through the crypto market comes, and we've seen that um, decent um, blockchain that has NFT exposure seem to uh, suffer decent gains. Um, Ethereum is still close to the $4,000 mark, so I think Ethereum stands out. I think um, Polkadot also is something that I would not want to ignore, despite the fact that it suffered record uh, losses. Um, Tenzo's... Um, Solana, Banana Smart Chain, these are uh, blockchains that have NFT exposure. So I, I see them standing the test of time. But the problem about it is that uh, they might not uh, get to the, the such uh, uh, such level we saw in Q3. Right, right. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the metaverse tokens and all the virtual land play out in a serious bear yeah. market. <laughs> all right, Lumile, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so looking at the top order market cap that we see, BNB is down 5%. It's all red on that counter. Cardano down 6%, Solana down 7%, and we see XRP lost the $1 mark, 77 cents, down 8%. So, Ini, it's, it's red. Yeah, it's, it's red. red. And I'm wondering, where is that prediction of... A hundred thousand. A hundred thousand. Well, I, I know a couple well, in December, of. December, <laughs> man. Today, today is the sixth. I, I don't, I don't know how that's going to happen. Is it going happen. to be on It'll the thirty first? It'll take a Christmas miracle for that okay. to happen, actually. We'll wait for Santa Claus. Santa Claus is coming with a bag of gifts. Right, right. <laughs> All right, laddie. Thank you so much.